It's baby chick day and we are headed to the post office. Baby chickies, yeah. Is it baby chicky day? Chipmunk, how'd you get out again? I thought I fixed where you were getting out. What? Chicken. Chicken peck you? Got you on the finger? Baby, it's okay. It's baby chick day. And we are headed to the post office. I just got the phone call that some of our baby chickens have arrived at the post office so we're gonna go and pick them up i need to come out here and get the brooder we've already got one brooder in the house with baby chicks in it came out here where we've been storing the other one i need to grab it i don't see if i need to clean it up i think it'll probably be fine and then we actually dumped all the extra shavings that we had we've had so much rain um and justin even put some extra pine straw in here but i'd already I had already dumped all the extra shavings I had in here, so I need to go by the farmer's co-op and pick up some more shavings. Just get everything ready. I'll take you along with us. We'll get the brooder set up, go pick up some baby chicks, and I'll let you be a, be a part of introducing them <laughs> to our crew today. You gonna give Chipmunk some? Yeah. Say, come here, Chipmunk. <laughs> you dumped them right at the door. That's okay. Look, let's go see if there's any eggs. Let's go in. Let me see. I think these are the these are the pretend ones. Yeah, put that one back. Is there another one up there? Yeah. Is there just one more? Is there just one more up there? Yeah. Okay. It's okay. Those aren't real. Uh, uh. No eggs yet. We'll have to come back later. Uh, hey. No, those aren't real, baby. Those are pretend eggs. Egg. Yeah, those are pretend eggs that I put up there to see if they'd lay in the box. Oh. A no, we'll give them some worms in a minute. Oh, you have to put it right here. Okay. Good job. It's okay, they'll eat it. You see their bowl right there? Yeah. Sit in there. Good job. Hey. Do they need more? Okay. Starting to rain. It's starting to rain. Come on, it's raining. Were you carrying it in the back of your bicycle? Bicycle. All right. Did you keep it safe? Yeah. All right. Let's bring it in the house. Yeah. You did a good job of keeping the eggs safe. Egg, egg, egg. Are they gonna hear us and let us in? Oh, somebody's coming. We went out the other door. This one was still locked. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and get their feed and water ready before we go pick them up. That way all we got to do is put the shavings in the brooder. We got it cleaned up. We had to clean it up in the shower. Huddy helped me. The, this particular brooder's probably on its last season. I don't know. We'll see. It cleaned up pretty well. Thank you. And so we will put shavings in it. As soon as we get home, we got to go get some, and then the feed and water will already be ready for them. We're probably going to get a bigger water as well, just because we found that having that gallon water in with them, just, it's so much easier. You know, it just lasts longer. We're not refilling it any multiple times a day. I'm going to go ahead and make some magic water for this. I shared on TikTok and on Instagram how we make 
or magic water. Go there. I know some of y'all don't have TikTok and Instagram though. So just kind of the gist of it, what it is for this quart, I'm going to put a half a tablespoon of honey, a half a teaspoon of garlic, and one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, and then put warm water in it to dissolve the honey, and that will be the first water our chicks get. I got a little one over here that's ready. There's his little noggin. He's ready for a nap. Let's get this, and he'll probably fall asleep in the car going to get these baby chicks. weather. We went and got the shaving. Now we're here to get the baby chicks. Everybody's excited. We're always excited about baby chick days. Mom, Mom, I get off Coming in the post office? I get off okay, come on, come in with me. Let's see if you can hear them. I hear them. I hear them chirping. <laughs> Mom, bye, people. Do you hear him? Let's get him home. Everybody help him? Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> like one, one more play. Good job. Good job. Putting these rocks in because baby chicks sometimes will. Is that too full of no, you're doing good. They'll get their heads or their bodies even in the water and drown. So this helps prevent that. Uh -huh. For brooders, we use these totes, these plastic totes, and in the lid, we cut a rectangle out and zip tie on some chicken wire, put some pine shavings in the bottom, got their chick starter, their water, and it's up on this little brick so that so many shavings don't get kicked up in it. I like these brooder plates for baby, baby, baby chicks. These are a couple weeks old, so I think what I'm gonna do is take this brooder plate out, clean the top of it off, because they like to use a bathroom on it. <laughs> and I'm gonna put it over in with these new chicks. And then I'll just put a lot on these. But I love having this brooder plate with little chicks. Oh, we knocked the broom over. All right, let's get them in here. As they bring them over, they're dipping their beak in the water just to make sure they know where the water's at. Good job. Oh yeah, that one has a fat shirt in the oh. That's 15. Look. So we've got five California whites. We already have Calif California tan, and she does fantastic for us. So we got five California whites. Okay. We got five speckled Sussex and five assorted Brahmas. The kids were noticing their little feathered feet. Let's see if we can find one. Show them your feathered feet. Huh? 
So baby chicks can be mailed because they do not have to have food or water for the first three days. They absorb the yolk before they hatch. So this is the first food and water that these baby chicks have had, which is fine. And uh, they are loving it. They call it on quick. And I cleaned the top of this off a little bit. These chicks are just going to get on it and <laughs> poop too. We usually give it a good scrub once a week or so. And I've seen some people get cling wrap and put on the top of it and then peel it off. Maybe I'll try that. We've never done that. But that's all they need. Some water, some feed, some warmth, and a place to keep them contained. All right, let's put the lid back on these baby chicks and we'll put a light on them. They'll have more room to move around now. They're getting a little bigger, so we'll get that brooder plate out and they'll have more room to scratch. The first week, baby chicks need a temp of like 90, 95. They need that, that temperature to stay warm and then you can drop it by five degrees every week after that. We just use this brooder plate for the first few weeks. It has little legs that you can adjust the height. So as the chicks get a little bit bigger, we raise it up. So like once a week or so, we just raise the legs. Uh, and then after that, we I don't use a heat lamp much unless they really look like they need it, like they're huddling together. You're giving them some more shavings. I like to just use a 100 watt bulb inside of that actual lamp part. And that seems to do good once we transition from the brooder plate. When they pack the baby chicks in the boxes to send them to you, they put them in an appropriate size box so that they kind of huddle together and keep warm. Sometimes, y'all, sometimes it happens. Just in general, baby chicks are fragile and you can lose some, so be prepared for that. We've always had pretty good luck around here, but they, they pack them in the appropriate size box so that they can safely kind of huddle together and stay warm while they're on their way to you. Did y'all hear that thunder? Goodness. <laughs> so just a few extra bits of information for you. Uh, we ordered these chicks from Hoover Hatchery. I've had great luck ordering from Hoover in the past. Uh, Murray McMurray is also another great one. We've had some negative experiences with a couple of hatcheries um, in the past. However, those are some that I've always had good luck with. This particular batch came from Hoover. All alive, all well, all healthy. Something else you may see in new baby chicks, especially if they like fluctuated in temperature, is something called pasty butt. And on their rear end, it'll be caked up a little bit with poop. All you have to do is take a warm washcloth and just gently, you don't want to try to pull it off or anything like that because you can pull their skin off. They're that fragile. So just some warm water and very gently, just take your time. I mean, it doesn't take that long, but just with a warm cloth, kind of rub it and get that to come off. That's just another one of those things that oftentimes you'll see in baby chicks. And you can help them out a little bit to keep them healthy. And to make your little debut. Something that I've had people ask about is how you can tell if they're male or female. And there are a few different ways at hatcheries they can check by their vent. And they've gotten really good at being able to do that and tell. <laughs> You're so talkative. Uh, sometimes with certain breeds, the coloring will even be different. And then another way you can tell is once they start to get feathers on their wings, the females have longer outside feathers, whereas oftentimes the males, it will be just all one length straight across. But you have to look at that right when they start getting those feathers. To be able to do that. Let me get her back in with the rest of her crew. 
there's always so much excitement over adding new animals, uh, especially chickens. We love our chickens around here. Everybody wants to be a part of it and to make sure they're well taken care of. Another video that has been requested is our suggestion on breeds of chickens. Breeds that lay eggs well, breeds that are really friendly. So that that's in the works and it will be coming soon. So be on the lookout for that. Hopefully this video was helpful for you whether you're looking to go to your local feed store or your tractor supply rural king and pick up four or five chickens or maybe you want to order 15, 20, 30 chickens online. Hopefully this gave you the confidence to get started to let you know that it's really not that difficult. You can do it. You can add chickens to your family. I love you. I appreciate you and I will see you in the next one. Bye y'all.